Hi guys, welcome to lecture of classes and objects from .NET School. Now in this lecture, I will explain you all about classes, objects, constructors, and this keyword. Now if you are a if you are a intermediate programmer or a experienced programmer, you can easily skip this tutorial and move move on to my next tutorial. But if you are a beginner, you you need to understand the concept of classes and objects very well because this is the base of all of the programming in C sharp. Let's go through slides first. Now a class is a type which re represents a self-contained unit. In object oriented programming, we think in terms of classes and objects. Classes are complex types which has behaviors. Say suppose we are working for a banking application, we will have a customer class representing all the customers of bank, which can have methods like check account balance and withdraw money. So a customer can check their account balances and withdraw money with uh, with the help of check account balance and withdraw money methods and the customers can have uh, will also have properties such as customer name and customer code etc now all these things define a behavior of a class now all these points will be clear once we look into a example so let's move to visual studio and here i have a predefined class called as program which is defined by uh, .NET framework and now uh, I have a static method main method which is the entry point of my application so whatever class I will define that will be implemented through main method so let's define a class first and let's rename this class as batsman class and this class will represent all the batsmen those uh, play cricket the reason why I am using cricket as an example and batsman as an example is because uh, you can easily relate it to in your daily life. So this class batsman will represent all the batsmen those uh, those all play cricket. Now this batsman will obviously have some behaviors. So we define this with the help of methods. Now I can have a method say play straight drive. and I need to define the body of the method and let's write the console uh, console dot write line that means a pseudo implementation of this method straight drive has been played okay and similarly we can have another behavior for this batsman class that means my uh, batsman can also play some other shot say play square drive and let me change the implementation in here square drive has been played so now this batsman class has a behavior uh, two behaviors in in fact straight drive and square drive so now each batsman will have a first name and last name too so i will have my field which stores my first name and the variable should always be declared with the small letter or underscore so that's the normal coding convention so last name So now my batsman class has a string first name last name uh, which represent the name of batsman and two methods which defines the behavior of this batsman that means my batsman can play straight drive and my batsman can play square drive also now how can i make use of this class in my application by making object of this class that means my batsman class is defined but it has no life that means we need to bring it to life so let me make a object of this class batsman and when we are talking about batsman it's obvious we will talk about mr tendulkar so let's write new batsman so the ob uh, the process of creating the object is this we uh, do it with the help of new keyword and tendulkar dot c play straight drive and let me write console dot read line so that I can we can read the output from console and now let's try to run this program 
see state drive has been played so we have a class but we can't use that class directly in the main method we need to create the object of that class and tendulkar is the object of batsman class now this class batsman represent all the batsmen those are playing for their respective countries and tendulkar is one of the object of that batsman class so i hope this clears my difference between classes and objects now i have two fields also here and they are uh, they are underlined with a green squiggly and all it says is uh, we have defined these fields but have not used them so let's try to make a method which prints the details of this batsman so i have a pre typed method which gives me the detail of my batsman and here it's last name so all this method is doing is writing on the console the batsman is then i am appending this string with my first name and last name and now let's make this tendulkar object to call this method tendulkar dot details and let me first call the details and then make him play the shot so let's try to run this you can see batsman batting is i don't get anything in here that's because we have not initialized those first name and last name fields only straight drive has been played is implemented properly but our details method is giving me incomplete result so let's see how to initialize those fields one way of initializing is to hard code it so let's hard code it such in and in here i should write sorry tendulkar okay and now i have initialized this first name and last name to sachin and tendulkar respectively and let's try to run this application again now batsman batting is sachin tendulkar and straight drive has been played so my program is running properly right now so you can see here is this the really right way of initializing this field of course it's right to initialize this field here but this class batsman represent the all of the batsmen in the world it does not represent sachin tendulkar alone that means if you define a class say batsman you cannot restrict it to a single batsman you cannot hard code it here sachin and tendulkar you should be initializing it uh, this field some other way at run time so let me remove this hard coding and try to initialize these fields with the help of a constructor so this is the function of constru constructor to initialize the fields present in the class so here i have defined a constructor now constructor are the special methods which have uh, same name as the class name so you can see batsman and batsman and constructor do not specify a return type so if i specify a return type i get an error in here so i don't need to specify the return type of a constructor that means constructor do not have a return type and they have the same name as the class name and constructor are special type of methods that means is method has a body and a name same as with constructor it has a body and a name but without return type so let me pass some parameters to initialize this first name and last name now the parameters of the constructor should start from capital letters and that's the programming convention so if you have a field and a parameter of a constructor and you're using that uh, parameter of the constructor to initialize this field you uh, you need to follow this convention that is it should begin uh, parameter of the constructor should begin with capital and field should become with a small that is the general way of distinguishing which one is field and which one is parameter so i will write this dot first name equals parameter of the constructor so i am basically assigning 
my parameter to this field once i run this program this will be more clearer to you so what i am doing in here i am declaring a constructor which take two parameters first name and last name and i am assigning this uh, first name parameter to this first name field similarly for last name and from where i will get this first name and last name parameters in the runtime i will pass it to my batsman constructor you can see the moment i start the brackets it's asking me first name so let me give it a first name sachin and comma and then the last name tendulkar let me close the bracket and now try to run this see batsman batting is sachin tendulkar straight drive has been played so this program is working properly and we have initialized the field in the right way with the help of constructor so what's the function of a constructor constructors are used to initialize the fields those are present in the class and constructor are the special methods which have the same name as the class name without a return type so i hope you understood this concept of constructor now let me comment this constructor and you can see the moment i commented that constructor out i get a error in here because my, uh, this batsman constructor do not take two parameters now and this is the parameter less constructor which is been provided by dotnet framework this batsman that means if i specify a bracket start of the bracket it shows me batsman without batsman constructor without any parameters and which has been provided by dotnet framework so it is not necess necessary to for you to write the constructor but if you have some fields to initialize those fields you need to define the constructor and constructor is the indeed the first method that has been fired in the class to prove that let me uncomment it and let me write the simple implementation in here right line i am oh sorry i am a constructor fired automatically so let's try to run this once again okay okay i didn't pass the parameters to the constructor because i have uncommented means i am using that constructor so i need to pass some parameters in here such in and tendulkar and now i should run it see i am a constructor filed automatically so this constructor has been fired first then it has initialized my field batsman batting is such in tendulkar straight drive has been played so i hope you understood the concept of constructor and i have used this keyword here and here so what this what does this this keyword does this keyword represent the current instance that means this keyword this is representing representing object of batsman class that's a way of writing the object of the current class so you can see when we create the bat, uh, object of tendulkar uh, batsman so tendulkar dot can access all the methods and the fields okay same goes here so i am writing here this and dot you can access the fields those are defined in the class so this this represent the current instance current instance of batsman class also when you try to initialize these fields always try to remember like this this dot fields equals parameter parameters of constructors 
because for beginners it's quite uh, confusing for them to uh, remember this is used with fields or with parameters so it's always used with fields and you are assigning parameters of constructor to these fields for the field initialization and this represents the current instance of the class so what we have done so far we have a uh, class called batsman with uh, two fields first name and last name two behaviors or two methods straight drive and pull shot and one details method so this gives me details and i am creating the object of batsman class as tendulkar and i am uh, to initialize those fields i am passing such in tendulkar and then i am calling details class and play straight drive method okay so what is a class class is a blueprint it's a representation and what is a object it it brings the class to the life or you can say an object is a instance of that class what are constructors constructors are special method with same name as the class name used to initialize the fields those are present in the class let's move back to our slides a field is a variable that is a member of a class to initialize these fields we use constructors and that we have seen constructor are special methods with same name as class name and no return type if we do not provide a constructor dot net framework gives us a default parameterless constructor and that we have seen objects are something which gives us our classes life objects are instances of classes this keyword represents object of current class all these points we have seen in our example this is our first slide this is our second slide so that's it guys thank you for listening this concept of classes and objects i hope you understood it if you have any doubts please leave a comment i will try to answer that as soon as possible happy learning and thank you so very much and before you go please subscribe to my channel for interview preparation in c sharp wpf wcf sql entity framework mvpm design patterns etc for personal online training on C# and WPF and for other queries please contact .netschool@gmail.com